Okay, E. Well, to get your maximum and minimum values, we really need to take a look back at the intervals of increasing and decreasing. Bearing in mind that negative 1 represents, okay, uh, represents a, uh, a vertical asymptote here. So what we're seeing here is on either side of the 0 at negative 2, it's, it's increasing and then decreasing, so going up and then down. So that means we are going to get a max at x equal to, whoops, sorry, that's not a point, at negative 2, which gives us a value uh, when you plug that in. I believe if you plug in negative 2, you're going to get a negative 4. So that means the maximum value here is negative 4. Uh, coming back to our intervals here, uh, notice that on either side of 0, I'm decreasing to 0, I'm decreasing to 0, and then I'm increasing afterwards, which means that's going to be a minimum. Okay, so we're going to get a minimum at the point 0, and if you plug that in, you get 0, which means our minimum value is zero. Remember that when we talk about values, we're referring specifically to the y coordinates of the points.